constant feelings of anxiety, um, kind of, yeah, just constant feelings of panic anxiety that I was going to have a seizure. Um, and when I went to the doctors, uh, they were trying to kind of convince me that it was anxiety, whereas I was convinced it wasn't. This was all to do with my epilepsy. Because it was weird things like twitching and involuntary movements. And when you've got epilepsy and those happen, it's hard to believe it is anxiety. Um, but in the end, after a few years of battling with it, um, I kind of came to terms that it was my mental health. And fortunately, I got help for it. But yeah, it was definitely worse than than, than the actual epilepsy itself. I didn't even know what anxiety was. That is mind-blowing, whereas now it's spoke about all the time. Um, and I think it does need to be improved. It needs to almost be not taught in school, but kids need to be made aware of these are the symptoms of certain things. If you are experiencing them, it could be this, and you need to do this, this, and this to get help. Um, so, yeah, I think it definitely is improving, and it's helped massively when you see athletes that are supposed to be, you know, tough and fierce and on the TV, um, mentally and physically strong, seeing that though they have weaknesses as well can only help. It, it's just so important because, like, I, I genuinely lost three to four years of my life, my university years, um, just being unhappy, being, I, I had anxiety from the moment I woke up to the moment I went to bed. I became obsessed with um, that, I, that I was gonna have a seizure. It was just, just not any enjoyment in life. There was no quality of life to be had when you're just worried all day, every day. It affected my social life, it affected my training. It was just horrible. So if I'd have had that help younger, I don't think it would have came out when it did, when I was 18 to 22. It, I think I would have dealt with it a lot earlier. So it's so important. And when it was happening to me, because I didn't even know what anxiety was, because no one spoke about it. it, was, it was, I was so confused. I was having all these symptoms that were physical symptoms, and I didn't believe it was anxiety, because I'm like, how can something that's in your head cause you to have all these physical symptoms? And it wasn't until a doctor like printed out a sheet of paper, and it had all the symptoms of anxiety, and I think I had all of them bar one on there. Um, and then I was like, do you know what? She could have a point here. I might start believing her. So I think, yeah, if if young people have access to the mental health the services. They might not need it at the time, but at least they can learn to recognise it if it comes out in the future and maybe teach them coping strategies to deal with it if it was to happen in the future.